Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, I'm going to use Casa OS to install Jellyfin and make a Jellyfin Pi server. Using that, we can stream the videos across our network like we are doing the same on Plex and MB server. So this is a replacement for those two servers and it's open source and free to use. So let's try, try to install and then check its compatibility, how it will work. So let's get started. Now let's open a Safari and uh, my OS is on 16. 1.6 and it's open now let's wait for the apps to upload on the screen let's move to app store and here is the jellyfin let's go ahead and install it and the installation started it will take some time we'll leave it as it is and i'll be back So the software is installed now. Let's go ahead and click on it, Jellyfin, and it start loading. So let's just go ahead and configure it. Next, let's select a username. Use strong password. It will saved in the keychain for Mac. And now let's add library, movies. Uh, let's look for the folder, media, movies. Okay, let's select country india and okay so this is done next so this is finish and let's log in now so i'm logged in and i have one movie it's uh, uploaded to my drive that has been mapped with jellyfin so it's right here let's just try to click on it and check whether it's working or not need to click on play and it started so let's just go back so the movie screens and the wallpaper uploaded jellyfin also has a mobile app i have already installed it and you can see it's asked for the server so let's select the server the server will be 192.168.1.16 and try to connect once we'll try to connect, it says tried five candidates for the input without success. So we need to uh, type the port as well. You can click here and find out the port number 41951 to connect to the server. And after that, you need to put your username and the password. So our username is this and I'll uh, have the password and then put it here. So for that, I need to go to the keychain. Now you can see I'm logged in and you can see the same movies on the system and on the phone as well. So you can stream the video inside your network easily. In the next video, I'll try to show you the method how we can go ahead and access our data from an outside network. So that's it for today. If you like my work, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, press the bell notification for my latest videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day.